Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4 Part 234. I almost said something completely different and wrong, and I would have been very angry at myself for doing that. Anyways, I'm going to drive the 05 NSX in this segment because I'm a fuckhead. Pretty much. Like, that's the only way to describe it is I'm a fuckhead. So, B-Class, North American Tour, everyone else is using modern muscle cars. And I'm in the fucking sports car, because like I said, I'm a fuckhead, so. Let's get started with this probable domination with our first race at Sonoma. Alright, here we go. That was a long uh, transi transition between the pre-race screen and the grid. That was weird. Anyways, <clears throat> off we go at Sonoma. Muscle cars versus sports car. Come at me. <laughs> uh, shit. Wow, I'm not in the lead after turn one. What a fucking shock. Anyways. Oh, going for the, the turn three dive that I always do in every game. Because it's so easy to do. So fucking easy to do. I'm actually surprised I made it from that far away. I was, I'm actually a little bit shocked about that. Okay, hello. We are not doing this correctly. Holy crap. I'm a little bit rusty at this. Aye. Overpowered and high stakes. Way to go, test drive. Sonoma is a cool track. I like it as well. It's my mm, third favorite NASCAR track, probably. The second being Watkins Glen and the first being uh, Darlington. So, alright. Yes, this track is in GT4. It's not from GT4, but it's in GT4. Hey, Taylor's taking second place from uh, Davis. Nice. Hey, Toon Lake. Welcome. Yeah, this is the track from NASCAR 98. Hey, remember when NASCAR raced? Oh, God. Around the carousel section. And it was in one, maybe two games. Did put the original NASCAR racing have this track? I can't remember. I have the I have the PlayStation version of the game. I could just you know pop it into my PS3 and check it out, but you know. Only problem is I don't have my PS3 hooked up right now because I have the PS2 hooked up. So it it would require more than zero steps. So fuck that. Uh, it did. Okay. Cool. Yeah, there is a European NASCAR, yes. I've never seen anything of it, but it's probably cool because, you know, they actually have to turn right and left at pretty much every track. Yeah. Not another car in so Oh, God! This NSX, although OP as hell, is also very ass-happy. Cool. It's, it's just how I remember my last experience with an NSX. It likes to whip that ass out at high speeds. Hey guys, the NSX is OP. Guess who's surprised? Not me. This looks like Taylor is the uh, brought the superior muscle car to the uh, to the show here. 
I uh, changed the way my speedometer looks. It, there's an option, and the option is to either have a digital or analog in the HUD options. I chose an analog. I'm pretty sure it's analog by default as well. Never, never really can get into like I don't know what it is with like g racing games and like digital speedometers, but I just can't use them effectively. Like it kind of fucks up my shift points when I don't have like a needle constantly moving as opposed to bars filling. I don't know. I'm dumb. Okay, don't mind me. Then there's also the, you know, telemetry mode, which may or may not be what you were talking about. I don't remember, or I don't know. Telemetry is cool, but it doesn't have the important information like uh, the red line and also just everything else. If there's one thing I really can't uh, deal with when it comes to manual transmission and attack is um, having fucking just a rev number. Like, it just has the number counting my revs. That's why I'm really glad. That's kind of why I'm glad in Asker 05, you know, I'm racing primarily on ovals and staying fourth gear most of the time so I don't have to fucking worry about the revs. I mean, I know it's like a generally just get to 9,000 upshift, but it's like, I need an actual tack, because I'm a piss baby fucker. Uh, oh, excuse me, holy shit, that came out of nowhere. I don't know what the hell that was. Um, remind me to never do this again, by the way. I really should have thought of the consequences of bringing a sports car to a muscle car race. Guess who didn't think? Me. Fuck. So I can't wait to see this 20 second- then again, Sonoma is generally e the, one of the easiest tracks in the game to win at, but still. I'm sure I'm going to be winning by quite a lot in every race. Look at that fucking difference in lap time. Ooh. Oh my. We might be waiting here for a minute. Oh, there we go. 23.3 seconds. God damn. Well, a good way to start the night, I guess, is uh, with absolute domination or something to get, you know, warmed up, I guess. I don't fucking know. Okay, let's continue our absolute dominance of this uh, leg of the tour at Laguna Seca here. For four laps, four laps. Let's off we go. Nice little burnout off the line. I got more wheel spin than the muscle cars. <laughs> That's only because AI actually runs traction control. Because they're a bunch of plebs. Not even plebs, they're plebs. They get an extra E. Am I three wide? I'm still three wide. I am still very three wide. I'm no longer three wide, okay. I was three wide with Brown and Williams all the way from turn one to the exit of the fucking hairpin. Jesus Christ. And now they're three wide behind me. <laughs> Be cool if this game had rolling starts. 
I like rolling st I prefer standing starts, but rolling starts are cool. Rolling start! Okay, up to third place, and into the corkscrew. Of course, down the hill is where I will most likely pass both of these guys. As long as I don't really fuck it up like I'm currently doing. Excuse me, Taylor. Oh, God. Okay, got some damage there. I'm trying to cycle through the telemetry menus while also driving. I'm, I don't have enough ligaments for this. Ligaments? I don't have enough fingers for this. Actually gave me a lot of front-end damage, that contact. I don't have enough arms and legs for my... hands. <laughs> I'm just gonna just abandon all speaking. Forever. <laughs> I'm just gonna become a mute forever. I'll learn sign language and just communicate in that way. Who's excited for Need for Speed Payback? I'm. Eh. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, because I'm just. I have the hope that it's going to be an improvement over the absolute disaster that was 2015. Because goddamn, that game is awful. Just absolutely fucking atrocious. But, um, I've bitched about that far enough. Hey, John. Don't have a 360 mirror that got stolen on. That sucks. Shit, man. That rem yeah, for Wii U. That reminds me, I have a few Wii U games I should probably play at some point. Most notably Mario 3D World, because that game looks fun as fuck. Also need to get Xenoblade Chronicles X at some point for the Wii U. Of course, I still have to play through the first Xenoblade Chronicles, because fuck me. Also, hey, I'm not going to dominate by 500 years like I did at uh, Sonoma. How about that shit? Oh, God. Curbs. <laughs> me card no likey. Yeah, Hood's a little bit sad. It's, it's got just a minor bump. It's fine. What well, other Wii U games do I have? I have Mario Maker, but I... Eh. I'm not really into Kaizo Mario, so... You know. Um... Let's see, I also got I have Hyrule Warriors, which I want to play because I've always had interest in the Dynasty Warrior series, and this one just looks freaking cool. But I haven't played it yet, and I also have a... Uh, what else do I have? Oh yeah, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, that's right. I got, I got Monkey Cunt Freeze Edition. I do not have Smash Bros. I, I had... Originally had Smash 4 for the 3DS, but I got I sold it just because I didn't care about it. Cause I would only like pretty much be able to play Smash alone. So then again, that didn't stop me from playing Smash Bros. Melee a lot when I was younger, alone. But still.
I don't know. I'm just not that big into fighting games. Like, the only fighting games I've ever really played is Smash Bros. I still I still have a Brawl, though, just because of the Subspace Emissary. Because, hey, single player, bro. I've never played any DBZ games. I think the only fighting game I have, like, any fighting games I've ever played was Smash Bros. Trying to think of any other fighting games I might have played. I can't think of any. I did play a little bit of Killer, like the recent Killer Instinct at a, the one convention I went to, like three years ago. I think it was three years ago. And then uh, I played a couple rounds of Mortal Kombat 9 with a friend a few years ago as well. That's about it. That's before what little social life I still had remaining died forever. But you know, also I win. By the way. And a sex is the master of the Typhoon Lagoon. This time only six and a half seconds up on Davis. So, hooray. So two down, three to go. Alright, time for race number three at Indianapolis. For insert number of laps that I did not check on the menu here for. Okay. Here we go. The plan on making a series on Get Sport. Not GT Sport, Get Sport. I mean eventually yes. Maybe I should maybe I should uh reattempt my fucking day one sellout LP. Well, not even day one, but my sellout LP strategy that I tried to do with uh, D Dirt 4 with uh, GT Sport. Of course, that entirely relies on the f if I have a PS4 by the time it uh, comes out. Which, the way things are looking, that ain't gonna fucking happen. I'd be surprised if I got a PS4 ever, knowing my uh, financial situation. fucking hate being poor. Really do. Have I played anything from Twisted Metal? I played Twisted Metal 4 when I was a child. My brothers had that for the PS1, and I only played the cheat codes activated because I was absolutely terrible at the game. So I don't have any like actual memories of TM4 get a job, hippie. I have two jobs. Plus all this shit I do on the internet. So technically three. Technically. Although this makes me about uh, zero percent of my or about 0.5 percent of my total incoming wages. Damn it! Test drive, I wanted to time him out. Fucker. Oh shit, okay. Hang on, one moment. There we go. Taken care of. Got him. Chat moderation. Hey, I'm gonna win this race by a lot, by the way. I'm already five, almost six seconds ahead on lap two. I'm just gonna do it. You're taking too much time with your warnings. That's shit you just don't warn. It's just you get him out of there. It's like lol, I'm spamming lol, lol, lol.
Fucker. Hey, it's not my fault your trigger finger's too slow. It's where I, c I could pause the game and click the button before you did. So, ha. Ah. Anyways. Back to the video game. I am very much ahead here at Indy. Eight point eight seconds, okay. Nice. I say nice, but you know. Hmm. Likes changing his Twitch name because he's a fucking meme lord. Anyways. Uh, I was gonna say something about what's happening in the race, but I got nothing. I drew a complete fucking blank. This NSX sure is dominant. Yep. Mm hmm. I still prefer the uh, the older generation with the pop-up headlights. Just, just not a fan of the way it looks with the not pop-up headlights. Doesn't doesn't flow as well in the front. But hey, that's my terrible opinion that probably zero people agree with. Because I have terrible opinions on everything. I like how these braking markers are just on the track. Like, they're not even, like, like hanging off the wall. They're just planted on the fucking road. It's nice. Oh, God. What's wrong with different opinions? My, everyone usually... Or, yeah, mine are usually the ones that everyone disagrees with. Bad opinions don't exist, but mine do. Therefore... I really hope they update Indy and, and Daytona and GT Sport, because I still use the old, uh bus stop in GT6 at Daytona. Like the longer one. Doesn't that make me more interesting? Yes, but it also, you know, makes it more difficult for to find anybody who actually likes me and it makes my already like inability to have any conversation with anyone ever that much more difficult. Anyways, there we go, I went to Indy. So... Let's see what this crazy fucking margin of victory is going to be. Da 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 da, 17 seconds this time. Not as bad as Sonoma, but still pretty ridiculous, so um, yeah. Let's just move on to race number four. Alright, here we go for race number four at Road Atlanta. Home of the Petit Le Mans. So. Oh, fuck you, Brown. Asshole. I think he was trying to make a move on Taylor, who apparently got a shittier launch than Brown, or, yeah, Brown, and then, uh, just, uh, that was a fucking mess. Somehow I'm still in second, or made it out 
fucking second. Yeah, petition Lamar. Uh, oh god. Oh, hey, we're doing the full road Atlanta finally. It's about goddamn time. Um. Uh, anyways, what was I gonna say? Oh, what did I think of Great Balls of Fire? I didn't watch it. I was at work and also sleeping prior to that. I think I watched a couple things from the ball pit. Did I? No, I didn't. God damn it. Oh well. I haven't really watched a lot of wrestling lately. It it sucks. It really sucks. I still like have nearly half a year's worth of content from WCPW to catch on. Or catch up on. If that tells you anything. Orton's gonna destroy Mahal in the prison match. Here's the problem Pujabi prison sucks. And I can see Jinder holding on to the title and dropping it to Cena or something. I think the wrestling sucks, it's just I don't have time to watch it with everything else I try to do and fail. I mean, I still at least try to keep up on Rosemary through the weeks, because, you know, Rosemary. Mmm, Rosemary. Anyways. Have ever been to a car show? No, I haven't. Hey, just because you don't like naked gymnastics, Q. <laughs> oh, jeez, pepper spray. I bet that was a fun experience by phone. I mean, ugh. Ouchie. Okay, four second lead on Davis here. So I kind of overdrive these terms. I'm not, like, attempting to drive this car well at all. I just want to point that out. I've honestly been paying more attention to chat than the game. Because, hey, the NSX is OP as hell. Hey, Harry. Well, that's why you gotta kinda suspend your disbelief when watching Q. Like, wrestling is ridiculous and dumb, but that's why we watch. It's, it's, you know. It's like, yes, we all know it's predetermined and shit, but it's like, hey, it's still fun to watch, bro. But, you know. If you don't care, then it's fine. Doing it this last turn, that's not how you do that. Also, rip cone. I should probably get some, like, uh, DVD R's or whatever I need to, uh, so I can have GT Concept and GT4 Prologue because, hey, I have a mod thing in my PS2 now. Woo! I 
I'm a dirty hackerman. Learn that I have. I actually do have every uh, GT game that was released in North America. So hey, so I have five Prologue now and also Piss Pit. Improve my driving, but I have improved. I've only killed one cone, as opposed to every cone. GT for five Prologue has a little bit of content, not a lot. It's also either I'm just like, you know, just not used to that particular, yeah, game or what, but it seems very difficult to actually 100%. Like some of the events, I just couldn't, no matter how hard I tried, get a gold. Anyways, I win. Ready for Sport and Project Cars 2. Um, no, because I don't have a PS4 and I'm treading extremely lightly for Project Cars 2 because of, you know, the mess that was the first game. Still never forget that. What happened to Jones? I think Jones might have had some kind of incident in the race and damaged his car. Because, um, that's really slow. He was way far behind. Holy shit. Anyways, one race to go here in my absolute decimation of this, uh, tour. Okay, final race. Sebring short. So, if there ever was a time for the muscle cars to have an advantage on me, this would probably be the p place, but, uh, I, I still have... I still expect them to not even be close to me. Man, that Camaro just does not get off the line, apparently. Although this man stag. Williams got an amazing launch. And into P1 around the outside, nice. Very nice. Oh, early on the brakes. Dive from Davis. Oh, he's still on the inside. Okay, well, time to run away with this bitch, I guess. Oh, carrying too much speed in the grass. Rip cone. Oh, God. Whoopsie. Oh, hi, Davis. How you doing? What it up, my dude? And bye, Davis. Oh shit, farewell. If I was a track designer, what would it look like? I don't know, because I don't know how to design things. Fueling in GT5 takes so fucking long. It's actually ridiculous. That's why I just went with the the strategy I used in the endurance races of fucking just use soft tires because the time that it takes or like the time the the time I gain from driving with soft tires more than makes up for the time lost. Uh making extra pit stops which I would you know, be wasting a lot of time anyways, just, just be sitting there refueling after the tires were changed, so hey expert pit strategy from yours truly it's seriously the way to go in GT5 endurances cause if you're, if you're gonna stand there and refuel you might as well just Fucking shit. Might as well just fucking shit.
Dude, I wish there was a real life Grand Valley. That'd be awesome. As fuck. Also, that sounds like a very, uh, just rumor for the sake of I want this, therefore I'm gonna make a rumor about it. Rumor. So I've never seen anything about, like, talks of a real life Grand Valley being made. I still would love to see, like, real life Grand Valley and a real life Apricot Hill. Those two are really good tracks. And if they, like, uh, brought that one circuit back to life that Deep Forest was based on and made it Deep Forest, that'd be fucking cool, too. But, you know. We all can't. We can't have good things. Does that take some money? Real life. Real life high speed ring. Yeah. That'd be an awesome track, but I don't know if it'd be good for racing because it's it's pretty fast and it's more of. Mm. I don't think it'd be safe enough for today's standards. Yeah, I know Deep Force is real, that's what I said. Like, they, uh, resurrect that one, that track that Deep Force was based off of, and made it Deep Forest. Sunset bin sliding into it, holy crap, oh my god, okay. We're good, everything's fine. And one lap to go. Here it's Sebring. Eight second lead over Davis, okay. Williams in second. Miller is up to fourth. Well then. Well, Taylor just got shuffled all the way back, didn't he? Can't find a link to the thing. Yeah. That's why you don't believe rumors in any way, shape, or form. You're just like, oh, okay. Well, I'll believe it when I seize it. Because anybody can make a rumor about anything. I can, you know, say right now. Like, a eh, rumored Polyphony says they're going to cancel GTA Sport and just work on uh, Taurus Trophy 2. There you go. There's your rumor. And if enough people believe the rumor, that's when it, like, you know, shit gets really stupid. Anyways, here's a confirmation. Not a rumor, but a confirmation. I win. It's been four years since you heard it. Yeah, then it's definitely not true. And probably just something somebody made up because they want Grand Valley to exist in real life. So much that they'll make up a fake rumor about it. It was won by 10 seconds over Davis in our last race here. So that's cool. And with that, I have absolutely, completely fucking destroyed the uh, B-Class North American Tour, so with that, we shall move on to the second half of the North America Tour with the A-Class next time on 4 is a 4. Stay tuned. <laughs>